Good evening, everyone, and thank you all for tuning in to the Adult Services Take It and Make It program for this week. My name is Jennifer King, and I'm with the Clearview Library District. And tonight we're going to, I'm going to walk you through how to make your very own Easter egg decor sign. So the first thing I'm going to do is go over all the materials that should have been included in your kit. Uh, first of all, you should have a square block of wood. I went ahead and painted one side of mine white just for the sake of time. There's also an Easter egg stencil. You should also have some craft kit instructions typed out for you. This lists all the materials as well as step-by-step -step instructions, which you can follow along during this video. And we also have a little information on Kelly Decor. Alexis Kelly is the owner of this company and she's actually the one who put this craft kit, uh, she assembled this craft kit for us. So you can read a little bit about her and her business as well as check out her website, which is included on this slip here. We also have a paintbrush for you. You have a safety pin and we have five different colors of paint. You should have pink, green, orange, white, and blue in your kit. And you may not use all of these colors and that's fine. We just wanted to give you a little bit of variety. Um, one thing that's not included in your craft kit is a credit card. And this is really good for smoothing out your stencil once you've placed it on your block of wood. This will help get any air bubbles out. Anything with a flat edge will work just fine. Another thing that I have is just a little cup of water in case you want to change out your colors and you can clean off your brush simply by dipping it in your cup of water um, before you move on to your next color of paint. So those are our materials. Um, so to start this project, you're going to want to take your block of wood and if you prefer, you can go ahead and paint the background a solid color. As I stated earlier, I went ahead and painted mine solid white. You're gonna to wanna to let the paint dry fully before you apply your stencil. And you're welcome to use any of the colors that we included in your kit, or you can use any that you may have at home. So once your wood is dry, you're going ahead and going to go ahead and apply the stencil to your block of wood. And Alexis Kelly actually made a very helpful video to show us how we do that. So we're gonna take a look at that now. All right, I wanted to show you how to remove um, the stencil, so you rub it, and it makes it easier if you rotate it down. All right, so you get a corner, and you want to make sure that all of the blue pieces stay down, and that none of them are on this white section. So you're gonna you're gonna peel it, and if you get to a point. So see how my little A piece, it's not sticking down. Um, I just go and I just add a little bit of pressure and see that didn't work either. So you can kind of help it um, by flattening it. If you can see that, flatten it and then just kind of peel it away. Um, this is really good to do with uh, stencils that you have that have a lot of words on it, uh, especially the smaller they are, the harder it kind of gets. So you want to be able to you just use the force to be able to pull it as you go and you want to make sure that there are none there. like that. Then you flip it over and you line it up till it looks good to you. Um, if you want, you can always, you know, if you have like a ruler, you can always measure and make sure that one side measures the same as the other side. Um, and then once it looks good, then you take your, this is where you'll use your credit card. All right, and then now this is where you're gonna take this off. So you don't want it to stick like that. You want the blue to stay down. All right. 
and then you have it. And I usually will lightly run this over it just to make sure that there's no air bubbles or anything so that when you paint that it won't bleed underneath. So that's how you put your stencil on. Okay, so once you've got your stencil applied to your wood, it should look like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and start painting. Um, we recommend that you do two thin coats of paint and that you let the first coat dry before you apply the second coat. I'm gonna go ahead and start with pink. And again, you have a variety of colors. You can paint whatever colors you'd like. Okay, so once your paint is fully dry, it's time to pull off the stencil. And you'll do that by slowly peeling it back away from the wood. So I'm gonna do that now. And sometimes parts of the stencil aren't going to completely come off of your block of wood, and that's when you'll use your safety pin. So you're just gonna open it up, and you're gonna just gently get right underneath the parts of the stencil that are still stuck to the wood, and just kind of lift them up. And now here we are with the finished product. I hope yours turned out really well too. Thank you for joining me in making this craft tonight. I hope you had a lot of fun. For more programs like this, please check out the Clearview Library District's webpage. We have a few events coming up, including our, our Spellbinder Storyteller event on April 6th and our Nancy Drew Book Art Crafts on April 20th. You can get more information about these events as well as register if you're interested by checking out our website. Have a good evening.